Welcome back. In this third part of our tutorial on creating a South Park character in Ink Inkscape, we have three jobs left. We need to create the mouth, the hands, and the hat. Uh, the mouth should be relatively easy, I'm thinking. So we're going to just take our Bezier tool, click once, go upwards a little bit off to the side, click again. Oops, sorry. Double click to finish. And then we're going to set our stroke. Control Shift F brings that up. Always wants to go off screen for some reason. And it's set to one pixel. We're going to set that to, say, eight pixels. We're going to introduce just a little bit of blur. Well, oh, that ended up being too big. So, we'll reduce that to four. We're going to make sure the ends are rounded here so we don't get that harsh line across. And that should work. And now we're going to take our select tool and just move that into place take our node tool, grab one end and just reduce, whoops, we got two ends there. Let's try this end. We'll just reduce the angle a little bit. Maybe stretch it out a little bit too. Okay. Not exactly the same, but we'll make do with that. The hands are relatively easy. We would take the circle tool. Again, I'm going to hold down the control key so that it constrains to be a perfect circle. There's one. Now we want to set that to the same tone as our facial tone. So we take the eyedropper tool, click in the face, and that sets the color for that. We've selected it. I'm going to duplicate that. That'll save me one step. Now, more than one way to resize something. Sometimes when things are really small, it's easier just to come up here and type in values there. So that's about what we want for our little thumb. But our thumb needs an outline. You'll notice to set it off. So we're going to come in here. We're going to pick a slightly darker shade. We're going to right click and set stroke. And then we're going to bring up our stroke dialog. It's set to 1.8. Let's try 4 pixels. No, that's not. Need that a little darker. Not quite that dark. There, now we can see it. So actually, 2 pixels or 2.5 pixels It's going to be about right in our case here to make that outline visible. So now we're going to grab that and position it in place in relation to the other circle. And highlight them. Group them with Control G. Duplicate them with Control D flip the duplicate on its vertical axis and we drag one into place and we drag the other one into place and we first then select the two of them whoops that's not what I wanted to do there, folks. Close that fill and stroke so that we can align them on their bottoms. Then we're going to go Control G to group them. And we will center them with our body. 
you know, relative to last selected because I selected the body last. There we go. Now, one more thing that we need to do, I just realized, we need to create the impression of arms. So we're just going to take our Bezier tool up here, draw a line. Once again, I've neglected to double click. Yeah, let's press enter, that'll finish it too. Okay, stroke needs to be somewhat larger. So it's at one, let's try three. That makes it visible. Just gonna move it up just a smidge. So it's not cutting into our thumb. And then we will duplicate that. Once again, we'll flip the duplicate on its vertical axis and we'll move it holding down the control key over this way. And by holding down the control key, we ensure that it doesn't move up or down. We'll group them again. Control G that was. We'll select them, select the body, and center them on the body. In our next tutorial, the fourth and final installment in this series, we'll learn how to create the hat and the pom-pom.